Good day everyone, welcome to your third Kick PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to set up, quickly set up our folder and file system so we can see all extensions to file types we have on our system and we can see all hidden folders. Alright? And then, to do that, if you're on Windows 7, this is uh, Windows 7, you click on Organize, you have Folder and Search Options, click on View. Then scroll down to this option and check this option where sh where sh don't show hidden files folders. We want to reveal hidden, uh, we want to be seen hidden files and folders. Yeah, so you check this option in place of this. Then you uncheck this hide extensions to known file types. We want to be seen all the extensions. So so uncheck it. So this is set up well like this. You click OK and apply. I've already done it, so I'm not clicking it. If you're on Windows 8, you click on, there's a menu here, you click on View. Then you'll see the file extension type, so you, you check it, so you could see all the file and folder extensions. That is it for setting it up. Then, um, remember we, in the last tutorial, we extracted this, then we renamed it to Blog. So the next thing we want to do is, um, quickly, quickly go and go to our browser whatever browser you're using make sure your web server is started and running your web server is started and running and the action is green you go to your your any of your browsers and um, type localhost slash the name of the the folder what we have is blog okay localhost slash blog this will quickly display our cake php website and uh, here is it. Our site is uh, running well. If you named your something else, like here, we have a. Um, I named this folder blog. That's why we have blog. All right. Uh, as you can see, if you named your something else, you will just have localhost slash whatever uh, something else you named your file. Make always make sure that everything is in small letter and there are no spaces. Instead of putting spaces, you could use underscore. Else, but never ever um, it's not advisable to have spaces in your folder I mean, uh, when you're naming your folders. All right. One thing: if if your page is white, plain white like this, uh, you will notice there is a problem. Cake PHP is warning us that can't use all rewriting there's some there's something that is missing in our apache we didn't enable something in our warm server so we go to our warm server and um, click on the icon and then go to apache go to modules then uh, you use your mouse scroll button to find all rewriting rewrite module and enable it if you if you are if you don't have a mouse or you're not using a mouse you could use your keyboard down arrow be careful not to press anything else on your keyboard at this moment just your down or up arrow uh, because pressing some other key accidentally might just disable one or more of these and then that could be problematic so we're looking for a rewrite model and then we scroll down 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 till we see rewrite model yeah there it is rewrite model you click it once then you wait we are waiting because our worm is restarting all right it's red in color and then when it's back to green mine usually stops at yellow yours should end up at green when it's back to green you know that you you set up the url rewriting module and then we can come back to our site and refresh when you refresh your site, you will notice that uh, things changed. All right. So Cake PHP can now um, really route your files and understand where they are and, and build a beautiful site for us. So this is our first home page on Cake, and um, in the next tutorial, we'll continue with the rest of setting up uh, Cake PHP. All right. At this moment. Uh, I will be starting, stopping this video. Check out the next tutorial. Thank you very much.